welcome to the vlog. Um, hello kitties. I apologize if you can hear bells in the background because they have been playing with these little worms that have bells on them and they've been loving them. Yeah, huh. Oh, she's purring. Um, I wanted to do a little recap of Christmas week and because I have like a bunch of little clips but nothing really like substantial to show you and like talk about. Also, I unfortunately got super, super sick during Christmas week. It was bad. I got like food poisoning or the stomach, like some stomach bug. It was horrible. <laughs> Only have just started feeling like normal today. So that is why the vlog is starting now or like I'm doing this intro now. Um, it was pretty rough. I painted the pet portraits and I have a, that video is already up, so you should be able to see that. It's just like me talking about canvas prepping and like my thoughts behind painting that piece. And then I hung out with family and my partner's family and some of our good friends. And my friend's cat gifted Chicken and Goose their own wand toys, and that's the bells that you're hanging, probably hearing in the background. Christmas was fun until I got sick. <laughs> and then it was not so much fun. But not much else has been happening really. I've just been working a lot again and I haven't really had any time to draw. But I did get an email from my professor for the spring and he sent us like the list of stuff that we needed to get for class. So it's exciting. It's getting real. It's like it's feeling more... I don't know if it feels exciting. Honestly, it's a little daunting going back to school. I'm gonna try and make the most of it. I'm gonna try and film a lot of the projects that I work on. This first semester, I'll probably just share a lot of the art class that I'm taking. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's online courses too, so that's gonna be a little different for me. I'm not sure how to feel about that yet. <laughs> I, I need to be like really on top of my time management. As for today, I am, you can probably hear it in the background, but I'm gonna be playing Baldur's Gate. <laughs> and I do wanna read a little bit today too. I've been reading this book called A Man Named Uwe or Ove. I'm not sure how to say it. I don't know if I like it yet. She did warn me it was a little sad, but I'm gonna try and finish this book in January. I'm trying to finish at least one book each month because I I don't read as much as I used to and I often feel kind of guilty for like taking the time aside and like reading. But yeah, I'm gonna try and make a New Year's resolution I guess, but I don't really want it to be just like because of the new year. I do genuinely want to try and work on like actually reading a full book each month and whether that's like audiobooks or like physical books, it doesn't really matter. I just want to consume a piece of literature every month. We'll see if I stick to it. <laughs>
Are you enjoying the box? chicken so i have literally just been working on this for the couple, like the last couple of days the grout and everything i was talking to my patrons the other day about it this has been a longer process than i thought it would take i still have to do from the sink downward but the counters by the kitchen by the kitchen by the stove are done i just have to take a sponge over it and get all the loose bits off and then kind of clean up the edges but other than that I feel like it looks so much better. I have some better video of it, but the grout was so like corroded and just stained and I can never get it fully clean. So I thought it was time that I would just go ahead and try and fix it myself. The only issue I'm running into is a lot of these tiles have like chips in them and cracks and stuff. So it doesn't look perfect, obviously. And like there's some discoloration on the edges of some of the tiles. Excuse me, no scratching. No, no. Yeah, there's some discoloration around the edges, but other than that, it's making the space a lot brighter and it's gonna be easier to clean. I don't know, it needed to be done. So this is what I've been working on for the last couple of days. Uh, sorry if you can hear the bells in the background, the cats are playing with their toy, but I started coursework today and a lot of it is just kind of like the syllabus stuff and just like introductory stuff so it's not really that exciting. I'm also including like an orientation class to the college because this is my first semester ever with uh, ASU online. I'm not good at conversation as it is in real life. <laughs> So that aspect is a little difficult for me and the fact that they're like, oh, you get graded on how often you interact with your classmates and like you have to make a comment on this and you have to like make a post about this. It feels very disingenuine. And I think that's like the hard part for me. It's like it's not like a natural thing that just comes out. It's like you're being forced to make these posts and you're being forced to reply on other people's posts. It feels weird. And then the art class, I've I've finished all the stuff that's available right now. The next thing I need to finish on the 17th, I believe. I'm trying to get as ahead as I can, honestly, because I know there's going to be a point where I'm just like, I don't want to do this today. So I'm trying to <laughs> make sure that I stay ahead of it. And when I do have those low mental health days, like I'm able to take them off. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm enjoying it enjoying it so far. It's boring right now, but I'm sure we'll find some exciting stuff to share later on. But that's pretty much all I have to do today, I think. Other than that, I want to read today. I might take a bath and just have a little reading session, I think. I also, I have to start finishing up this video because uh, I keep waiting to finish it because I haven't really drawn anything. They are really going at that toy. <laughs> I'm gonna probably, oh, ah, that's the other thing. I didn't mention it. I was reading A Man Named Uwe, or A Man Called Uwe, this book. My sister gave it to me to borrow and I was trying so hard to get invested in it and I just don't, it's not what I wanna read right now. I don't know, like I keep trying to force myself to read through it and I'm like just not super invested. And then I forgot I had ordered this book and uh, yeah, I immediately started reading this and I'm 
I'm invested, honestly. It's like a, not a retelling of Johnny Appleseed, but it's like a, like it's inspired by Johnny Appleseed, but it's like very horror-esque and just like spooky. <laughs> I was kind of nervous to read it because I haven't heard a lot about it. I actually found out about it by the artist who made the cover and I found their work on Instagram and they were talking about how they made this book cover and I was like, oh, that looks like a really cool book cover. I'm curious what the book is about. Looked it up, ordered it immediately. Hopeful that it is good because <laughs> I did not do very much research beforehand. I just read the synopsis and I saw the art and I was like, I think I would enjoy that. <laughs> so I'm enjoying it so far and I will keep you updated on my thoughts, I guess. Um, I am kind of sad that the hardcover is the way it is. Like it has a quote on the front and like, I like the back of it. It's got the little apples and everything, if it will focus. But I just, I wish that this cover was on the front. The sleeve covers always get bent and always get like so gnarly. And I really don't want that to happen to this one because I really enjoy it. It's like metallic and everything. And the painting is so good. She's back to being violent. What did that bed ever do to you? Hmm? I will check back in with you guys later. <laughs> work. I also need to finish the January Patreon download today, so we're gonna try and do that at some point. I just woke up, so I'm a little sleepy still, but <laughs> we're gonna get this done. <laughs> Hello, voiceover Scarlet here. I totally didn't realize that I never explained what these gesture drawings actually were supposed to be and like what the premise was of this assignment, so uh, here I am explaining it. But uh, we had to do six drawings in total and all of them are different ways of approaching the drawing. So for this first one, I did line drawing. We had to basically do like a rough line work, which is how I usually sketch anyway. It's just like making the basic shapes and describing the, like, the structure that you see. We were told to use either compressed charcoal or vine charcoal for these drawings. And then there's one later where it's like a scribble drawing where I had to use a pen. Most of these I just did with vine charcoal though, which I absolutely hate the texture of on my hands, which is why I'm wearing a glove. You also had to do one that was based just on mass and that one focuses like on the volume and the value of tones, ex like instead of just the outlines and edges. And you're looking at like the shadows and building it from there. And then we had to do one where you we were combining those two there was, like I had mentioned before, the scribble one, which was just pen work. That one is like more improvisational, so it's like messy, but in a purposeful way, I guess. And then the last one, well not the last one, the second to last one that we had to do was called sustained drawing. That one was like a longer time limit, which all of these drawings beforehand, I was only given like a three to five minute time limit on making them, which is why some of them are a little rough. But the sustained one, the one at the very end, which I'll, I'll show you photos of all of these because there's a lot of footage and I feel like it's going to get boring to watch the same thing over and over. <laughs> that one, you're focusing on working quickly, but not focusing on like small details. And you're looking at like the basic forms, making adjustments and moving things around. And you're kind of combining like all the different techniques that were mentioned before. Like, and that one was about 10 to 15 minutes of a time limit. And for the very last drawing, we were told to choose a GIF that we find online. I chose this like random one of like the lady falling over in the wind because it had to incorporate movement. 
and you're supposed to watch that gif and try and pick out key moments in it and recreate them on the page but then you the point was to have those images overlap so it looked kind of like a freeze frame animated kind of look and that is all of the drawings that we had to do for this first assignment okay so i took photos of all of the art projects that i did and now i need to go in and actually edit these so that way they're cropped better and put them all on a pdf and send them off to my professor Alright, the January patron reward is complete. I just have to make sure that this works well on a phone screen, and then if it doesn't, I'll readjust like the edges of it and stuff and widen it. <laughs> Can you sit? Hi, that's a good girl. You wanna say goodbye? Alright, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate you all watching and commenting and just general interactions with the videos that I put up. It's really nice. As always, thank you so much for being here and continuing to, oh, <laughs> continuing to support my channel and my artwork. Are you guys playing or is she chasing you? Goose, are you being mean? Well, I'm trying to end this video. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, Cersei, she does not like playing with you. You can play with Goose. Goose likes chasing you around. Be nice to chicken. <laughs> okay, that is it for this video. I will, I will see you all in the next one. I appreciate you all being here and I hope you all stay safe and I will see you next time. <laughs>